Hi, and welcome back to my vlog. I'm so excited about doing this vlog today. And honestly, this is not what I was going to originally talk about. But um, I'm on my way out to run some errands and I wanted to do this video really, really quickly. And so if I had to give this vlog a topic, it would be stop suffering in silence. Stop suffering in silence. And I came up with this idea because I'm watching the Netflix series called 13 Reasons Why. And I don't want to give away too much in case you haven't seen it. But if you haven't, I'm going to, I want to encourage you to please, please be sure to watch it. It is so powerful. So as the story opens, the main character, Hannah, has committed suicide. And but she was so strategic about it that she created these cassette tapes and each person that played a part in her ultimately deciding to take her own life. She tells you what it is that you did to contribute to her death. So you make no mistake about whether or not you played a part because she has a cassette with your name on it telling you exactly what it is that you did to contribute to that. And her closest friend is a, a young man by the name of Clay. And Clay even has a video. So I can't wait to get and see what it is that he did because I can't imagine what he would have done. So like I said, it's 13 reasons, 13 people, and I'm up to number seven. And it is so good, I'm trying to tell y'all, that I thought I was just gonna watch one a day, maybe one every other day, uh-uh. I'm watching them back to back to back. So, and as a matter of fact, when I get back, I'm gonna go back and finish watching number seven. And, 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 and also, I came up with this topic having watched what I've watched but this week as I was scrolling through my timeline on Facebook I saw a young lady that posted a very powerful and moving uh, video on how she had finished therapy and I thought therapy for what and I mean this thing was so powerful I could not stop the tears from rolling down my face that's how powerful it was she shares her story about how she was molested and she was raped and all of this happened from the time she was in the fourth grade all the way up to the 11th grade and I knew her very well in fact I had spent the night at her house a couple of times you know we hung out we had fun all of that great stuff and I never knew this about her and she talked about how she had been suffering in silence all these years I cannot imagine I can't imagine suffering in silence like that but eventually uh, 14 months ago it got the best of her and you know somebody said to her look you need to go get some help so that's what I want to share with you guys today no matter what it is that you're going through it doesn't matter if it's big or small it doesn't matter if it's something that happened now or if it's something that happened years ago go and get the help that you need people cannot help you if you don't let them know what you need and and I will say this though you've got to be very careful you've got to be very careful about who you share your problems with Hannah found that out the hard way when she started sharing parts of herself with people in this movie hence the reason why she ended up killing herself because you got to be careful who you share it with because I've shared with you all before that every person that has an ear to hear they have a mouth to run so you need to be very careful about who you share your stuff with I'm one of those people if you share your personal business with me I'm going to keep it with just us, the two of us. Now, if you choose to share with other people, that's your business, that's fine. But it won't come from me. It will not come from me because I will not betray your trust nor your confidence. So anyway, that's what I want to share with you guys today. If you're going through something, no matter how big or small, please go get help. Please talk to someone that you can trust. And I'm going to, I'm going to put myself out there and say... If you don't have anybody that you can talk to about your situation, you can always talk to me. I'm going to be sure to leave my information in the description box, and I want you to feel free to reach out with me. Like I said, whatever you share with me stays between the two of us unless you tell it. That's the only way other people want to know about your business, and you tell it, because I will not share that with anybody. But if you don't have anybody that you think that you can talk to, you can always reach out to me. But what I don't ever want is to hear of someone else taking their life because they had the burden was so heavy and they just couldn't stand it anymore. So that's all I have to share with you guys today. And I hope this word resonates with someone. And again, reach out, get, get the help that you need. I love you guys to the moon and back. And we'll talk again next Saturday on my next vlog. Bye.